so freaking spooky. What the hell? What is up, family? Welcome to another vlog. You guys definitely enjoyed my last vlog in California, so I decided to keep vlogging for our trip here in Nevada, which we haven't exactly got to yet because we actually found an entire abandoned military base. We're getting ready to go scout out this building right here. As I made it in, this is one of the most incredible abandoned places I've ever seen in my life. It is the abandoned hospital. It's huge. I just got done going in the basement. Mo Sarji, myself, and Omar, what we did is we split up. So we're literally all alone here. And down in that basement, it was completely pitch black. I have been filming a video. We will be putting that out in the next week or two. But I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek right here in my vlog. Let's go take a look around real quick. I'll tell you, this place is absolutely crazy. Like, it almost reminds me of Waverly Hills Sanatorium. <sighs> I can't imagine being here at night. But this place is so big. I haven't seen Omar since we've been here like an hour ago. Let's make forever wow. And uh, I did see Mo just a little bit ago. This place is freaking crazy. This is so freaking spooky. What the hell? What? Omar? Mo? Alright guys. I'm gonna go down to the end of this hallway. It is so dark and so spooky looking. I'm gonna get back to my video. Just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what we're doing right now. <sighs> Wish me luck. We just finished up our video here. Can't wait to show it to you in this abandoned hospital. We actually came across a couple guys here. Uh, kind of scared us at first, and then we used them to our advantage to scare my boy Omar over here. Good, that man. was good, man. That was good. Me and Mo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, can't wait to show you that video, guys. We're off to another location, so I'll see you there in a few minutes. Yeah. All right, fam, so we decided to leave there. We're gonna go back later tonight, but we are dying of thirst. It's 109 degrees out here in the desert, and we didn't bring any water, so we're gonna go get a case of water. My lips are dry, I need chapstick. Maybe I need to go get some. Uh, we actually plan to be in Nevada, but we decided to stay to go film more at that place tonight. Well, there's not a lot of hotels around here. There you guys go. <laughs> Bro, look at the pool. The pool has no water. In okay, the, the water. pool has no water. <laughs> Apparently, the thing. hotels here yeah, aren't very know. nice. So we actually found a suite that has three bedrooms in it. I've never seen three beds in a room. Well, I asked if we could take a look at this room first, so we're gonna go take a look at it before we book it. Because this room might be. Let's see what it's like. Hey, I say if it's decent, let's just do it. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna find in here. Oh, it's hot as balls. Turn the air conditioner on. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Oh, let's turn the air conditioner on now. Oh, yeah. Dude, why is that wife? That light flickers. That's weird. Hey guys, so we're still in California. We're gonna stay here one more night. We actually found a hotel that supposedly has a super haunted room, and we're staying in it. The what I the bathroom is definitely haunted, uh, thanks to Mr. Momar Gosh over there. Uh, but one thing I've noticed in this room that I've never seen before, it actually has three beds. One bed there, two beds there, and three beds there. What's up, Most Sarji? The three amigos room. Most Sarji spends ninety nine percent of his day on his phone. Just Bro, so you guys phone. know. We got girls that DM me nonstop. Even while he drives. Bro. Even while he drives. The girls. It's the girls, man. I think I think Mo's getting clickbaited. That's well, just what I think. Not Myself, Omar, and Mo Sarji, we're actually at an abandoned Air Force, guys. We've actually found one of the creepiest looking buildings I've ever seen, and we just found something super dangerous. All right, guys. Look what we found. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. That, my friends, is a Black Widow spider. You definitely don't want to mess with that guy. He will ruin your day. Yeah, let's go take some pictures. 
You guys watch their videos too? Yeah, we watch all of them. So guys, we stopped in Bullhead City here in Arizona. We're about an hour and a half away from the Grand. We're about an hour and a half away from where we're supposed to be. Met with my good friend Vicky. Vicky, I already miss you. Thanks for coming to meet with us. You're awesome. Well, as we're standing here, we literally had like 10 people come up to us and be like, Oh my God, Omar, Mo, James, is that you guys? Like we didn't tell nobody we were coming out here, so it was totally random. And that's them back there. So I thought that was cool. I wanted to share it with you guys on the vlog. So we just literally got back into Nevada from Arizona. Just look how beautiful that is. It is. That is freaking amazing. What a view. That's beautiful. And the sky. Wow. What the hell you doing, bro? Good morning, fam. We made it last night to the Grand Canyon Caverns, and this place is so cool. I didn't even get a chance to really go back where the caverns and the caves are yet. It's about a mile hike, but um, just like the front of where the normal hotel is is so cool. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. So that's the Grand Canyon Cavern Inn. They got a lot of old, cool cars around here. I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like inside because it's really cool. And one of the other things that's kind of neat is there's several hot spots here that have been found, different apparitions and different haunted things. It's a little restaurant over here and that's where they have breakfast, which is very cool. Bunkhouse, so neat. I love the paint, love it, love that color. Yeah, it's, it, it's sort of national parkish. And what? This is great. This is a, this is a great party, uh, great house for groups. Oh, definitely. Big families, or two families. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I can see everybody wanting Dude's to rent this out. Room. Wow. Fully, fully love the high ceilings too yeah wow that's really nice i didn't think it was that nice what the heck uh, yeah inside is really nice it's really nice, nice. Thanks for checking no I, I like that that that, <laughs> that color is cool i like it big kitchen uh plenty of seating uh new clean bed clean uh, all new tvs of course and then the adult bunk beds in the mm -hmm. one room it's kind of called the bunk house how often do you guys have this rented out? About five out of seven nights. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is perfect. If you have kids and stuff. Uh huh. Well, or even uh, adult groups. We had our professional cavers here all weekend. Uh huh. And uh, they're here helping us, and we gladly put them in the motel and spread them out. But they love being together in here. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. This is this is great. If you guys want to stay here and stay in here, I'd highly recommend renting out this, especially if you have kids or people with you. It literally costs between $150 and $200 a night. Probably the best deal I've seen. Where that came out, man. Cool. So that goes down pretty far. It goes down uh, 210 feet on the elevator, and uh, and then when we have caves down as far as 1,800 feet, we are only uh, down into the 300 foot. Really? Level. Guys, welcome to the Grand Canyon Cavern Cave Room, 300 feet under the ground. Oh, I got to duck a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to that though. Oh my, the what the hell? The hard? No, no, I'm like just amazed by this place. I didn't, I didn't hit it at all. <laughs> wow. This is better than Disney World. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, this reminds me of like things that Disney set up to. Well, I patterned the Grotto restaurant after the Blue Bayou in Disneyland. Oh, really? Yes, they do. We have yep. A with the, uh, trails going down. Wow. This is amazing. It's a combination of uh, wow. fine dining in a cave with a little French 
Wow, amazing. That has a lovely, lovely view. <laughs> I like the neon lights that you put down there. The rope lights, those are... Yeah, they're, they're pretty and they're also safe. Otherwise, you, this whole place would just be dark. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't even see your pan in front of your face. Wow, this is amazing. And while they're sitting here, we give them uh, flashlights. Oh, cool. And there's all kinds of, like, this passage here goes further than you can tell. Oh, wow. So neat. And all of the white materials and things like that are from the oceanic period here when there was an ocean covering this. And then uh, the gray limestone. This was covered by an ocean? Uh huh. For about, off and on for about six million years. Wow. And the gray limestone is the base rock. And almost all caves are uh, out of limestone because the water combines with limestone and eats away the limestone. Huh. So that's why caves uh, are prevalent. That's your limestone. That's great. But all the pretty stuff is from the oceanic period. I like how you just have like the four tables, so it's really private, quiet. Even if there's, you know, all four tables, like <coughs> it's very secluded down here and quiet. Well, we, and we found out already that they oftentimes just start chatting with each other and oh yeah, a little mini party. Really neat. And very comfortable, brand new queen beds. So people really enjoy it. And how long Last ago? Night was the first night it wasn't used in ten days. Really. How long ago did you did this idea come up? My partner Mike Cadlitz, this is his his idea uh, exclusively, and uh, that was about ten years ago. Wow! And it was very uh, it started very slowly. We thought it might just be something people enjoyed as an amusement, mm -hmm. but it, um, by the end of the first year, we were getting people to stay, and uh, and it's just grown ever since. We have a bunch of TV shows coming out around the world in September and October mm. that for people that stayed here. Oh, wow. Uh, so there'll be a lot more. Ozzy Osbourne was here uh, really? a few months ago. Wow, that There's must have been Jack. neat. Yeah, Ozzy right. Osbourne and Jack, wow. You probably get a lot of celebrities, lot of celebrities yeah. Oh, my gosh. You put in the new one? We won the U.S. Navy uh, used us as one of four places where they tested new sonar for their nuclear submarines. Uh -huh. And uh, they built this place here so there'd be no, nothing to interfere with it. It would be like an isolation of being on a sub. Wow. We pointed it down to see what it could see through the solid rock, and it saw three more levels down below. Really? Which uh, we had to take their word for that all the way up until uh, August of 2014 when we busted into the next level down, and now we're heading down to the third level. So That's amazing. And, uh, and it's uh, now been very inspirational to be able to pursue what they saw. All right, fam, we're in Las Vegas. We stopped here for like literally two hours. We're heading to San Diego from here. From San Diego, we're catching the red eye, getting into Florida so early in the morning. It's going to be a long trip, but it was a fun trip. Thanks for watching the vlog. I know you guys are ready to see some of these videos. And there was a couple other little surprises that we did film that I didn't put in my vlog. But all those videos will be coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know if you like these vlogs, if I should continue. Appreciate the love and support. Until next time, guys. Peace.